Hello everyone, today I'm going to add a couple more photos and first of all these pictures are from one hour before sunset and these are the settings uh, you can use it for your ST uh, series uh, you don't have to be XT4 but you can apply these to have the warm tone of the sunset so you can just uh, choose these settings so uh, let's get started and the first one I'm going to use uh, E5 uh, you can see that between the HB2 has a darker shadow and the E5 has a lighter shadow. I'm gonna use the E5 as a base at 6.5 and then increase the uh, the contrast, highlight save, and then sharpen it a little bit, slowly increase a little bit more, and then do the uh, 4x5 crop for the uh, Instagram. And this is the first time I'm using the uh, iPhone 13 uh, Pro Max uh, to edit. It's pretty fast and um, the first uh, overall feeling is pretty good. So let me increase a little bit more. You can see that uh, it has a nice uh, golden tone for it. Uh, for the overall picture, you can even reduce the exposure a little bit more. Just let me update this one. So save, save to the camera roll and then next one. I'm gonna apply the similar one to the next two because in the same location just to see uh, what what other adjustment that I need to use. Can increase slightly a little bit more for here. The lighting I go back to zero and then four by five crop. I don't need to include the building there. So just the whole uh, ground is fine for me for this one. And then so that's before and after save it for this one and then next one so this one might be too bright i'm gonna reduce the exposure a little bit more so minus one uh 0 0.9 for this and then slightly adjust the cropping and then save it so as you can see that it's about one minute per edit it's pretty quick so let me check which one is better. Um, so this is HB1 has more colder tone, HB2, HB3. And you can try other ones as well. So, but those are too yellow for me. Um, let me see. So this one is still too yellow. I'm gonna stick with the E5 to be consistent. Slightly increase the lighting a little bit more for this. And then increase the uh, contrast and the tone. Uh, sharpening a little bit so uh, 4x5 crop for this uh, bokeh in the back you can see the bokeh in the background from the trees uh, as well so that's the main one let me slide it yep so 0 0.3 plus uh, for this one and then this one let me see so just to be consistent Exposure slightly reduce a little bit more, but increase the uh, contrast and highlight save, and then uh, sharpness, and then adjust the four by five crop for this. Okay. Mm, the right hand side still have more room. I'm gonna reduce the right hand side more room right there. Okay, and then save it. 
So next one, I'm gonna copy the edit and then paste it next one. It's too dark for me. So immediately too dark, I need to increase the exposure to a lot more. You can see that exposure right there. Uh, highlight save, we, I can um, do it more highlight save for this one. Four by five crop, uh, slightly cropping a little bit tighter for this uh, picture and then slightly rotate the alignment for the lines in the background and let me see slightly adjust the so that's before and after so save it and then next one these are backlights one so uh backlight i'm going to increase the lighting exposure a little bit more for this and then contrast and then tone and then sharpness and then the do the favorite uh, e5 as well so but i just need a little bit of the e5 i don't have to do it a lot and because it's uh, already the leaves are in the golden hours uh, with the golden reflection so i don't need to add a lot of the golden color um, of the e5 so save it and then after that i'm gonna copy just to see to see if it's too bright for the next one if it's too bright i immediately uh, reduce the exposure for this maybe just press 0 0.3 for this one so that it is in balance so just to have a balanced lighting so not too overblown and then not too dark for me just make sure the feed is in, uh, consistent if your feed has a lot more um, more overblown style you can uh, add it more uh, exposure to your picture just to make sure it is consistent overall so let me save this one because the next one is very similar i'm gonna copy and then paste to the next couple one because they are in a similar lighting i'm gonna adjust the um just back to let me see yeah one is fine let me increase the a little bit more so 4x5 crop for this one and then slightly rotate okay okay so save save it and then next one so these two are side profile style so let me slightly crop it down a little bit so that's before and after i can even give more tone for this one side profile one and then save it and next one so um increase the contrast a little bit more and then four by five and this one i can leave one more uh full size uh, just for uh, instagram story because the instagram story sometimes you need full size you can notice there's a full size uh, even 9 by 16 crop for instagram story so that's a good choice uh, for this one as well so let me crop it like that and then save it and then this is for instagram story so these are two different ones next uh is a different location uh it's a four color also so let me adjust the e5 uh, so you can see that the um, HP2 has a darker tone for this one. I can just choose a slightly darker tone because the leaves are good um, as well. So I slightly rotate, just make sure the lines are aligned with the grid. So the grid are helping to align um, those lines. Okay, so increase the contrast, highlight save, and then the uh, sharpness slightly reduce a little bit more exposure so that's before and after because the wall has some dark uh, um, painting uh, not painting some dark spot right there so it's good to try the hp2 for this one i'm gonna paste it to the next couple one just to see how it goes and then i might just do a e5 variant just to see differently this one i'm gonna just rotate a little bit just leave it uh, uh, a wider angle for this one and this one definitely i need to add more uh, exposure because it's too dark and then do a 4x5 instagram crop for this one 
slightly rotate the uh, frame so that it is aligned and then save it and then next one okay so four by five crop for this slightly adjust the cropping okay so save it okay so the next uh the last two um i can leave it uh four by five with the, because the eyes are looking from the right hand side to the left i can keep more room um, on the left hand side just to create some different composition and this one the last one just adjust the four by five crop slightly adjust the cropping and the alignment okay i can add a little bit more light for this one Okay, so those are the uh, quick edits from this uh, photo shoot. Uh, and thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye.